Did you know that Windows has a cool feature called a package manager? Those of you who have used Linux before might already be very familiar with a package manager, but in case you aren't, a package manager is a quick way to manage programs from a command line. They've been part of Linux for a very long time, but Windows only recently got a package manager as a standard feature. Wait a second, a command line? You mean the way my grandpa used his computer back in the 80s? Why the heck would you install or update programs that way? Can't you just, you know, download what you want through a web browser or the Microsoft Store? Of course, you can do those things that way, but Windows Package Manager, called Winget, differs in a couple of important ways. Winget can provide a very comprehensive list of everything installed on your computer simply by typing this command. But you can also keep most of your programs up to date easily, regardless of whether or not they're in the Microsoft Store. You see, Winget operates by consulting a Microsoft maintained repository of packages. And a package contains both the software you want, as well as information about any dependencies it might need to run properly, such as additional files or resources. Some of the packages in the Winget repository are Microsoft programs, but there are lots of third party programs as well. As of the time we wrote this video, Winget had over 7,000 packages in its repository. Surely you're running some of those programs. This means one of the things Winget excels at is keeping your programs up to date with one command. Just type this into the command prompt, hit enter, and everything on your system that can be updated through Winget will be listed and the installation process will begin immediately as Winget pulls packages from either Microsoft itself or from third party servers that host the software that you want. This includes popular tools such as OBS, VLC, Zoom, Discord, and various game launchers. Much easier than trying to go and check for updates for all those programs manually, especially if you have lots of programs installed that aren't kept up to date through the Microsoft Store. There's also another way Winget can make your life more convenient, and we'll tell you what that is, along with an important warning, right after we thank MSI. Every rig needs a reliable motherboard, and MSI's MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi is here to deliver. You'll find support for Core Ultra processors and DDR5 memory up to 9200 megatransfers per second. It also has their easy DIY features, making adding other components a breeze. And of course, a high performance MSI motherboard isn't complete without their Frozer M.2 shield to keep you going for those extended gaming sessions. So go check out the MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi using our link in the description today. If you're migrating to a new PC, Winget can make it easy for you to quickly install many of the programs you had on your old PC. This is because Winget has an export feature, which creates a list of the supported packages installed on your PC, which you can save to a USB drive by using this command. Just enter the drive letter of your flash drive, then insert the drive into your new PC and type in this import command to install everything on your list. Just like with the update example we mentioned earlier, it's easier than downloading programs one by one and delete packages you don't need on the new system before importing it. If it doesn't spark joy, uninstall. Winget can also search for and install new programs without having to click through a bunch of installation screens. You can search with this command and install a program without those messy dialog scenes by using this command. If you want a no fuss uninstallation of something on your PC, you can pull this off by typing this in. But do you remember how we said that Winget lists more installed programs than what you might see in the settings app? This means that Winget could make it easier for you to inadvertently remove something your system depends on. So unless you're really familiar with the packages you're trying to remove, we'd recommend just uninstalling through the settings app instead. Winget was designed more for advanced users, so the assumption is you know what you're doing a little more than the average Joe if you're revving up this command prompt. No disrespect meant to you average Joes who might be watching this video, of course. We love you, and we hope you become advanced Joes. Maybe by using Winget. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out our other video on why Windows 11 has been so slow to gain users. <laughs> I say from your Windows XP desktop.